Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, closures are already taking place, even happening for about 30 minutes now. But this race is completely sold out. There's about 2,000 athletes competing in this triathlon. This triathlon is one of the most popular ones in the country. Athletes are coming from eight different countries and 33 states. They will all be participating in the 32-mile swim, bike, and run event that begins with the swimming portion at Lady Bird Lake. Athletes have the option of competing in three different races. The first option is the international distance. They swim 9.3 miles. They have a 24.3 mile bike ride and a 6.2 mile run. Then there's the sprint distance, which is about half of that. And the third and final option is a super sprint distance. That's the shortest one. Now here's the layout of the triathlon. It begins with a swim in Lady Bird Lake at 7 o'clock this morning. Then there's the biking part that course for it takes athletes right into the heart of downtown Austin and directly to the Capitol. The race ends with a run through Butler Park, Barton Springs Road and West Riverside. The finish line and post race party is here at Auditorium Shores. Triathlon has been taking place for 29 years, but people organizing this triathlon say this year is expected to be bigger and better. I'll have more on that coming up in the next half hour. Reporting live in South Austin, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, Fox 7 Austin News. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, about 2,000 athletes will be participating in the triathlon this morning. One of the masterminds behind <laughs> this triathlon is Scott Hootmacher, a.k.a. Hootie. Very good. Correct? Good morning, Jacqueline. Yes. Good morning. Thanks for coming out here bright and early. Tell us a little bit about what's happening. We know we got the bikes all set up behind us. You bet. So we're here for the 29th annual Lifetime Tri Cap Techs. We're presented by Verizon. And you're right, we have 2,000 bicycles. Athletes are still at home sleeping, but getting prepared to open here at 5.30 a.m. Uh -huh. where they'll come in, pump up their bike tires, put their water bottles on their bikes, get all their gear laid out, and get ready for one of the greatest races in the country. Wow. This is a very popular triathlon. Talk about some of the new things happening this year. It's been here for 29 years, right. but a lot of new stuff. Yeah, so first and foremost, we are completely sold out. We've had a couple of years of tough weather here in the past that have, have worked against us, but we're back. The triathlon audience here is strong, so we're really excited to be completely sold out and just look forward to continued growth in the future. Uh, because of that growth, we're able to do some new and fun things, one of which is that we're live streaming this entire event Very on cool. captextry.com. We start at 6.30 a.m., so all of your viewers at home can actually tune in and see what happens during this race mm -hmm. between the swim in Lady Bird Lake, the Bike Up Congress, and then the run throughout the park right here. Very cool. And what about when people, the finish line? Isn't there some new experience happening here? That's right. So at Lifetime, our goal is to help you grow and take some risks and do something completely different. And in this case, we want to experience triathlon. Mm -hmm. uh, triathlon is a very terrifying word to a lot of individuals, too. The swim, bike, and run back to back to back just really freaks people out. It's a lot going on in one day. It, it is. But in reality, we've all done that as kids. Most of us swam, bike, and run. But now when we put those things together in an adult's mind, that's a terrifying experience. Uh -huh. So we really want to celebrate the accomplishment of these athletes, especially the 22% of this field who are doing this for the first time, first time triathletes today. So as they cross the finish line, we have a massive finish structure with these huge letters, T-R-I, celebrating them becoming triathletes, just something completely different in the space. Yeah, very cool. Just a little something extra to congratulate them on all of their hard work. Thank you so much for joining us bright and early this morning. As we mentioned, 2,000 athletes will be participating in this event. We're going to speak to one of them coming up in the next hour. Reporting live in South Austin, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, Fox 7 Austin News. Yeah, there's a lot happening right now, you guys. As we showed you before, this is where all the bikes are being held. The bike portion of the event is the second part of today, but tents are being set up, and then right here is the finish line. The race starts in about an hour and a half from now. It's completely sold out, so there's about 2,000 2, athletes competing. These athletes are coming from eight different countries, 33 states. They're going to be doing a 32-mile swim, bike, and run event that begins with the swing portion here at Lady Bird Lake. Athletes have the option of competing in three different distances. The first option is the international distance. That one is a 0.93 mile swim, a 24.3 mile bike ride, and a 6.2 mile run. Then there's the sprint distance, which is about half of that. And the third and final option is the super sprint distance. That's the shortest one. So athletes competing in that will swim a quarter of a mile, bike 6.3 miles, and run just over three miles. 
Here's a layout of the triathlon. Once again, begins here at Lady Bird Lake at 7 o'clock this morning. Then there's the biking part. The course for that takes athletes right into the heart of downtown Austin and directly to the capital. The race ends with a run through Butler Park, Barton Springs Road, and West Riverside. The finish line and post-race party is right here at Auditorium Shores. It's expected to be a great turnout. A lot of new things happening this year. The triathlon has been taking place in Austin for about 29 years. I'm going to be speaking to one of the athletes coming up in the next 30 minutes. Reporting live in South Austin, Jacqueline Sarkeesian, Fox 7 Austin News.